nice walking time. Yeah, we got a Kazi emote. Alright. So, we're, uh, I think we're mostly out of the tutorials now. I think I want to go get those prisoners I messed up last time. Because I used up all my balloons early, and so I, I missed getting, like, the good guys. So I think I'm going to do that real quick. Then, uh, whatever. Now whenever I see Mother Base, I just hear disco music. We work hard, we play hard. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do for versus missions. I might just invite people and uh, not let them talk. They'll just have to. They'll just have to follow my orders. Okay. So let's go ahead. Is it? Oh, oh. Wait, what are these? What do the skull symbols mean? Is that like how dangerous it is? Difficulty. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's redo this one just so I can. Direction amended. So I can grab those prisoners. Fultons. I did. I think I upgraded my Fultons. Do I have more Fultons now? I need like 700 Fultons every mission. I did. Yes, we did make Big Boss Meow. two weapons for two schools. Okay. That's interesting. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this one again real quick. Grab those prisoners I screwed up. not get the cutscenes even though I've seen them already. Oh, that wasn't even like a real cutscene. Careful. They've got reinforcements coming. What was that? Hi, it's me. There's one more guy. Oh, this guy. It's Bozo. Whoa. I think I see someone. Yeah, you see a dart flying at your head. Okay, so I can't waste my balloons on these guys. Nice. Yeah, thanks for uh for picking up Lock On. It's a really really cool game journal. And this is on PS3. How many Fultons do I have? Nine. Oh, I have the same amount as I had before. Room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. My snacks at the base cause. I'll be eating them later. I'm 
Amanda went across that rope bridge. Hey, how do you guys know I'm gonna struggle? It's not like I've struggled my way through this entire game series. I think there's only like two prisoners, so I can probably bolt on a couple of these guys. Gotta make as many friends as possible. Do I wanna go up or down? I wanna go this way. Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Does he ever say it's like not confirmed? Does he, does he ever go like, whoops, sorry, we missed that one? You might be able to get past the enemy by hanging from the bridge. Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to hang. Not in this game. Oh, in later ones. Oh, okay. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Just like launch them into the sun. that thing floating about it's a log come on snake <laughs> these guys have good like ragdoll physics Wah! the enemy Fulton <laughs> recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter <laughs> Your friend now. Fight up stuff. Is that why people were saying you need to do stuff on multiplayer? Because they get really hard? Careful now. They might be holding FSLN soldiers prisoner. I'm good at this game. Alright, uh, where are my prisoners at? Here we go. Press the action button in front of a prisoner to take them to Mother Bay using the Fulton oh, Recovery feeling. System. Okay, I think there was maybe there's only two prisoners. They really, like, made the CQC of this game good. Okay, I think those are the only two prisoners. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Okay, I could get some more of these guys. I just really like collecting friends. Uh, so hey, thanks for the sub, Epic, epic Cow. You got banned on Twitter. Well, I hope you didn't uh, do something bad. Wait, that's the end. Let's get this guy. Our future is in your hands. Oh. Said a mean word about Blizzard. Oh. Well, they probably deserved it. Yeah, you can just fling people through the ceiling. Boltons are physic resistant. Oh, here we go. There's, wait. Yes. Yes. I already saw this. I just need to get those guys. Ooh, A. 
A rank. All right, let's look at our new guys. Got prisoners, we got a new type of guy. Ooh, now, ooh. Personal recovery and evacuation. It modifies so that more can be carried. Yes. More Fultons. Good job, Magpie. Good job, Moon Race. Good job, Stag. Good job, Lynette. Oh no! My food! I was actually gonna- I have a comic I'm gonna make about low morale, but I didn't finish it in time. Alright, let's look at our new boys. Seagull. If you ever get stuck in a mission, retreating is always an option. Isn't that right? No. Stork. You ever try running around lugging a big heavy weapon? It ain't easy, it ain't fast. Skylark. My muscles never fail me. That's my yearbook quote. Macaw. Macaw. The helicopter uses its tail rotor to combat counter torque. In other words, without it, the chopper can't fly straight. You could say it's like a chopper's jugular vein. This guy is like... This guy is the snake of helicopters. Hornet. A lot of the most talented soldiers out there are in places where you can't recover them the usual way. I know there's gotta be some way to get them, but... Oh, secret soldiers. Note. Everybody can do something, but nobody can do everything. We'll do the things you can't. We need you to do the things we can't. It's called teamwork. What did you miss? We just rescued some people. Newt. From what I've heard, supposedly there's a way to have items and ammo delivered right to you in the middle of the mission. Ooh. Snack delivery. Pause. I need snacks. Raven. Everything about this place is hot, hot. The weather, the work, the men. Raven, you're a star. I used to be <laughs> Ch Chakma. I used to be a world class gymnast, you know? Of course, when it comes to war, pride and glory don't mean a hell of a lot. Oh, Chakma, I hope you can go back to being a gymnast someday. So, which guys are our prisoners? Can you tell the difference? Oh, here, former prisoner, Seagull and Stork. Former prisoner. Okay. Auto. Alright, we got food now. We're good. Uh, can we build? I don't know if we can build anything. Oh, new. Oh no, that means I built it already. Okay, I think... I don't think there's anything else I can do. More Fultons, more Fultons. Alright. Save. Oh, you're also a gymnast, wow. MGS5 doesn't have soldier quotes, but that's like the best part of the game. Oh, thank you, noob. I'll, I'll do my best not to overwork myself. Alright, let's go fight that tank. Or whatever. Actually, no, I think there was a side mission I can do real quick. Marksmanship. Um, when I was in the military boot camp we did a test for a marksmanship badge and I uh, at the time I had double vision I hadn't had my eye surgery so my eyes didn't work very well and uh, I accidentally shot the other person's target and they got a marksmanship badge and uh, it also happened to be a person I didn't like very much so mission. Missions like this Good are key to building up your basic yeah, skills. Yeah, I was in the Air Force. Be careful out there. Not very long. I was in the Chair Force. I did, uh, I sat at a computer all day. Wait, what did he say? Briefing files. Right now, there don't appear to be any enemy soldiers in the area. 
Relax and concentrate on your target practice. And don't forget to look for targets in the shadows near the crates and forklifts. These are medium range targets. You may want to consider taking something like an assault rifle with you. But I'll leave that up to you. Use whatever weapon you want to get some practice. Yes, sir. I can't get over his, like, handsome face. Like, he's too handsome. It's jarring. The mercenary supply base is situated on elevated ground by the coast. I heard them call it Puerto del Alba, Port of Dawn. They have perfect visibility of the area from up there. We did our best to sneak in undetected, but one of the guards spotted us and we... What is it? I'm sorry. You'll have to ask Professor Galvez the rest. It's okay. You've been through a lot. I am sorry. I... I just cannot. You did great, Paz. I won't let your efforts go wasted. Oh, Snake's nice to kids. What a cutie. Listen to some more of these. I'll listen to some more later. Alright, let's do this. Um, assault rifle. And then um, put on our pink pants. Ooh! Let's rock. Let's rock. He loves his pink pants. Nick was once a baby boy. Now he's a baby man. Get the targets as fast and as accurately as you can. Too close. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. Is that it? Did I do good? Champion. You did it. Keep it up. that one guy. Yeah, I like the little mini missions. It, it's honestly... Like, I'm not sure if I like this gameplay style more than like the classic MGS style, but it's nice to kind of have everything in little bite-sized bits. You can just kind of do a few and then chill out. Honestly, it's really interesting how different like all the MGS games are. Okay. Let's go fight a tank. That's an armored vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. Escorts. Enemy LB tanks, armored has. vehicles, and attack choppers are always accompanied by a combat squad. The soldiers aren't particularly tough on their own. What makes them formidable is how well they work together as a team. As if you didn't have enough to worry about with a machine. Good. I like yeah. a challenge. Yeah. We'll see how you feel when you actually have to face them in battle. Snake, whatever you do, don't let them surround you. The last thing you need is to get pushed into the vehicle's kill zone. And pay attention to what your enemies say to each other. You can improve your chances by figuring out what they're planning and using it to preempt their movements. You don't always have to go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to win a fight. Think like a gorilla. Like a gorilla? Use my ape brain. Think like a gorilla. Panama disease was rampant here about 20 years ago. 
putting a lot of banana plantations out of business. Panama disease? It is caused by a type of fungus. Apparently it killed off almost all the banana species that used to grow here. How could that happen? Cultivated bananas do not produce seeds. You have to remove and transplant part of the stem yourself. The loss you of banana them in the is making my So you've got sad. acres of identical plants? See, when one plant is infected, the disease spreads quickly. Species lacking genetic diversity become weak. They grow different bananas today. One said to be resistant to Panama disease. Tell us about the Cold War cause. Costa Rica isn't alone. All of Latin America is getting swept up in the superpowers Cold War. The whole ideological split between East and West. In the end, it's just a greedy scramble for wealth by the ruling classes. The Western bourgeois stand to lose everything if their countries go communist. After all, the communists want to abolish private property altogether. So the capitalist rulers desperately tried to halt the global spread of communism. Hence the phenomenon of red baiting. And the communists, for their part, didn't exactly stay true to their principles. They tried to escape class-based society. But between Stalin's autocracy and the rise of the nomenclatura, they ended up creating one anyway. Once people have power, they stop caring about equality. That's where communism, where society in general, reaches its limits. The rulers only care about their own gain. The opposing side becomes a risk factor that threatens the profit, and thus the ongoing struggle between capitalism and communism was born. And now, nuclear deterrence is part of the picture. Exactly. In conclusion, everybody sucks. Oh, Weeping Willow, you didn't get a fortune in your fortune cookie. Well, that means the future is up to you to decide. They say nuclear weapons are the reason we haven't seen conflict on a global scale since World War II. The thought that your opponent might launch nukes against you sort of makes it tough to start an armed conflict. Especially now that they've got intercontinental ballistic missiles. Nowhere is safe. Of course, all that has caused military expenditures to skyrocket. Well, the only way to ward off a preemptive strike is to flaunt your own nuclear stockpile. Nuclear. And that's caused their numbers to increase nuclear. exponentially. Not just nuclear. with regards to destructive power, but in terms of targeting technology, too. Now they can nuclear. hit a target halfway across the world nuclear. with pinpoint accuracy. In a way, the space race was a demonstration of that technological progress. And as a result of all that, we now have mutually assured destruction. It's the ultimate form of deterrence. No one's going to launch their nukes knowing they'll be obliterated in return. I don't know. The chance of somebody hitting the button by mistake is never zero. Snake is gonna whoops us into a nuclear war. Whoopsie. You're right. Even with peace guaranteed by MAD, there's always the risk of an accident. Nobody wants the world to end on account of some machines malfunctioning. On the other hand, thanks to deterrence, we haven't had a world war since 1945. You gotta admit, it has been pretty has peaceful. <laughs> Not that it matters to us. People point at the nuclear arms and space races and call it a cold war. I say if they're not shooting at each other, why not call it world peace? Doesn't mean war is gone. Look at Korea. Oh, Oz, you Look at Vietnam. Well, yeah, but I'm talking in relative terms here. Besides, if war died out completely, we'd be SOL. We I was just like, has, hasn't everything been and great? We can't survive world in a war world that's at peace. <laughs> Nothing mm. bad has happened. You got a point. <laughs> oh, cause. Ooh. Aminals. Costa Rica is said to have about 87,000 species of living beings. That is about 5% of all the known species in the world. A tiny place like this? Huh. I'll be damned. I want to protect that biological diversity. When diversity is lost, the environment weakens. Just look at the plantations. I think I know what you mean. It's like trying to assemble a unit from similar guys. It usually doesn't work out. Throw a few square pegs in there, and everything falls into place. There are so many species here that a lot of them have not even been classified yet. I am hoping I can help do that someday. Kind of like a parataxonomist. Para... Say that again? Parataxonomist. Someone who helps a taxonomist. Oh. Huh. 
I thought you were going to say it had something to do with parachutes. <laughs> You're weird. You're weird. Snake, Snake think there's a job where you can attach little Boltons to animals. Alright, let's go fight this tank. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight the tank. Wait, why is this naked one up here with the non-naked ones? Survival. Fultons onto it. Help me, Kaz. Shoot that exposed view. No need to take out the armored vehicle just yet. Neutralize the troops first. Okay. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yeah. yourself. So should I just kill these guys then? <laughs> ah! Oh god, I forget that it doesn't freaking Can I see you see these guys? Helmets and stuff. I don't think you can bomb me through these guys very easily. Go around. So you like don't expect me to come up to them and just punch them. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Our future is in your hands. 
Oops. Sorry. So much for that tactic. You'll just have to attack. So much for that tactic. What? Throwing grenades at that man? Health not going down anymore. You've got to neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. Did he just run over his own troops? What a horrible... Ah! Oh, here, have a dead guy. There's a dude up there. I feel 
like that can't be that hard if I manage to do it somehow. Like, I kind of failed my way through that. It's hard to sneak this mission. Yeah, that's understandable. Oh, well, thank you. I just chucked everything I had at it until it went down. I love that song. I mean, it's really eerie, but it's cool. She's fine. Chico. What? What is it? Can you roll me one? Hmm? Tobacco. Oh, yeah. Chico. Hold still. I treated him like a kid again. We fought. I didn't want Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua. Across the Rio San Juan. And we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting. Uh, Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. Banana factory. A so they should call Mother Base. It's a drug refining plant. The KGB set it up for us to run. We used the income to buy food and weapons. Mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Everyone except Oh, you. why do they do this? At least Everything she's an adult. Our weapons. Why can't why can't we make Snake go naked? He it all together. Why does he, he just banish? Why doesn't he country. take his shirt off? Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa. Oh, can we see her bones? No, we can't see her bones. Her pants just I come never off. Replace him. Now I wanted to see her busted back. Too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. Here, I rolled you one. What about you? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. Man, he's so rugged in this it game. Look at that looks beard. Looks like it could be nukes. I don't think Salt Snake can grow a very what? good beard. Nukes? 
kind of gets like scruffy, but he doesn't get like beardy. Only naked snake. Those those genes didn't transfer. You can't clone beard genes. Must be where they're holding no, I guess solid. Well, that's why Solidus had it. That's what they they were trying to clone the perfect beard. And they finally succeeded with Solidus. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He. You're pretty worried about your baby brother. This is why I'm not fit to be a leader. Fine. It's a little bit out of my way, but just tell me where I need to go. There's a prison up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. Must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain, end his humiliation. Go kill a kid for me, Snake. If he gives in, if he's about to sell out his compass, please. At least let him keep his honor. That's a promise I can't make. Why? Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. And there's always another reason to keep on living. Uh, I feel alive again. Amanda. Join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah, yeah it's a total sausage fest. Why are, you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. Snake? Serviente. Uh, 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 could it be? The great... Cacique has come to eat us. Guys, what does Cacique mean? I don't speak Spanish. Kaz, can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz, the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. Be homeland or die. Alright, that was pretty terrible. Let's see what they give me. Ooh, met catcher. Oh, I did get the tank. Is it just because I... Hey, C's not bad. Life remaining, 18%. That's not very much. Tortilla chips? <laughs> I got a recipe for tortilla chips. That's all I really wanted. Ooh, canned soft drink. Wow. Oh man, my troops are going to be so motivated. I just need to get them some hammocks. See for capture that damn tank. Doritos and Mountain Snake. Dew. Amanda's reached the plant. Snake. Amanda, how do You're you feel? You're not blonde anymore. Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about El Frente, just ask. And please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Snake. We can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. 
How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah, I I'm know. I'm make this place into a Dorito factory. Boss, one more thing. Now what? It's about sick bay. Now what? Naturally, we can use Stop it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh-huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor Just everybody's health. people out of the cafeteria right. and like, you're a doctor is now. The best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a oh day. Oh my boss. god, gargling if is such a I Japanese thing. Time. If only I had time? Are you kidding me? Snake doesn't wash his hands. Gross. Gross. Snake smells, he does. Gross. Gross. And, uh... I'm gonna puke. <laughs> oh my god, tortilla chips. Good job, troops. Ooh, a new plant. Wow. Gargling and spitting. A staff member has been hospitalized. Being reasoned with in Brig due to intense hostility. Go convince that troop, Snake. Sick or injured soldiers will be automatically transported to the sick bay. Soldiers in either state will perform below their natural abilities. The higher level of your medical team, the lower the chances of sickness breaking out. Furthermore, the speed at which soldiers sent to the sick bay recovery will increase. Finally, a high level medical team will be enabled to develop. Ooh, tranquilizer guns. Cool. I don't have anybody though. Did I move some people from my mess hall <laughs> over to the sick bay? Oh, this guy has a D in sick hall. Can I, like, move everybody back and then auto them all? Maybe not. Let's see, wait. Oh, you can see the stats right there. This guy. Move this guy to sick bay. Do I have anybody else with any good sick bay stats? Not really. Everybody... Everybody's a D. You can move into the waiting room. If I move everybody... If I move everybody to the waiting room and then auto do it... food guys on the medical team. Okay. Go. Oh, put more people on the medical team. Okay, cool. 
prisoner. Alligator. Oh, he won't even talk to me. Okay. Wow, 184% food? We're doing good. Alright. Let's make some Doritos. Yeah. I guess we can make- oh wait. Can I just go on all my missions as the tank? Go. We got another marksmanship challenge. Commencing training mission. Missions like this are key to building up your basic skills. Be careful out there. Yes, sir. We've already taken care of the enemy soldiers in there. It should be deserted. All you need to do is focus on hitting those targets. It's geared toward long range target practice. You should think about bringing something like a sniper rifle. If I have one of those. Then again, nothing's stopping you from giving it a shot with a handgun either. Sounds like it's gonna be handgun. Oh wait, I already listened to this one. The reefer running. Oh, we got Amanda's stuff now. Since it was founded, my country has not once been able to choose its own path. First Spain, then America. Over 100 years of this. I know. In the 19th century, an American mercenary named William Walker seized power in Nicaragua. I'd heard he exploited rivalries between the political parties. Even after we expelled him, the Americans sent in their marines under the pretext of quelling political unrest. And the real reason? To intimidate the government and thwart the construction of the Nicaragua Canal. You guys are talking about smooching snake without me. I thought the U.S. already has the rights to build a canal in Nicaragua. They never intended to build a canal there. They'd already started digging in Panama. A canal in Nicaragua would break up the Panama Canal's monopoly. Reason enough for America to stick its nose into our affairs. They snagged the rights so nobody else could build there. It was General Sandino who finally stood up to Los Yankees. Los Yankees. General Sandino waged a guerrilla war against the Marines, at last driving them out. He was a true hero, and to us Sandinistas, like a father. But when they pulled out, the Americans left us something to remember them by. The National Guard. Yes. La Guardia. In name, a peacekeeping force. But in reality, Commander Somoza's personal army, answering to no one else. Unable to stay silent, General Sandino went to protest and was assassinated by Somoza as he made his way home. It was then that Somoza and Los Sapos began to eat our country alive from the inside. Wait, are you guys talking about fish tacos? Fish tacos are great. It has been 40 years since the Somoza family became the rulers of Nicaragua. With La Guardia at their command, no one can challenge them. You came here on the run from the National Guard, right? See, si. They took everything. Our land, our homes, our jobs. Now belong to Somoza. See, si. The law, too. He's even got the judges in his pocket. You defy him, you face death. Everyone bows at scrapes before La Guardia. Even then, you might get a beating if they are in a bad mood. And you're trying to change things. That's not all. These Samosas have used their power to line their pockets. 
They confiscate people's land and hand it to members of the Semosa family. By now, close to half the farmland in Nicaragua is theirs. We were powerless until... You remember the earthquake two years ago? Yeah. I heard the capital was hit pretty hard. We lost Managua, our capital city. People sent aid from all around the world. Tears of sorrow turned to tears of joy. Yet almost all of it was embezzled by the Semosas. They sold out those who'd lost everything for money. They feasted on our country's suffering. Public resentment is at the boiling point. The Samosa's days are numbered. We will see to it. Yeah, man, for a good fish taco, all you need like a corn tortilla, a piece of battered and fried fish, some coleslaw, kinda sauce. Freaking delicious. The first samosa was originally no more than the commander of La Guardia. Ordinarily, a man of his station could never hope to become president. But the president at the time had no power to back him. The only one with the strength to oppose him was General Sandino. No, better to say the general was the only one who dared oppose him. There was nothing special about him. Above all, it takes a strong will to see justice done. That is what he taught us. Mm -hmm. It's also what motivated Somoza to have him killed. Yes, the rest was easy. He got start rid of the president, taking office anything. in a sham election. And once he had the power, he never gave it up. Talk about heavy-handed. He had the Americans backing him, that's why. They didn't want to hand over power to a rebellious general. Even so, it's hard to believe Washington would give its blessing to a guy like that. The American president at the time put it this way. Somoza may be a son of a bitch, but he's our son of a bitch. In other words, better a dog or los sapos than an anti-U.S. regime. The Managua earthquake struck two years ago, the day before Christmas Eve. Giant cracks opened up in the streets. Sleeping children were crushed in collapsing houses. No chance to escape. No visit from Santa Claus. Thanks to Samosa, the old houses could not even get rebuilt. It was a nightmare. I heard the epicenter was right in the middle of the city. Even today, it's too dangerous to build on top of the fault line. The city center is still in ruins. And to make things worse, Samosa stole the recovery money. We must not fail. We owe it to those who lost their lives. We will defeat Samosa. Oh, Santa. It's terrible. Tell me about yourself, Amanda. Amanda, when did you join up with the Sandinistas? About a year ago, when I went into the mountains with mi viejo and his group. I thought your dad was with the FSLN from the start. No. He fought alongside General Sandino, but after that, he retired for a while. He found a job, got a wife and a house, and raised us kids. Then one day, some Sandinista students came by. And he felt the old fire in his belly. Something like that. All he did was help them escape from La Guardia, though. But then La Guardia showed up. They broke into our house and began pushing him around, shouting questions. I'm guessing he kept his mouth shut. No matter how hard they hit him. Our house was trashed. After that, he was on their list. They harassed him day and night. It was only then that he gave himself over to the Sandinistas. He kept it hidden from us at first, so we would not get hurt. Mm. He sounds like a good father. He was. But my mother got fed up with it. She left us. I don't blame her. Why didn't you go with her? It was a hard decision for sure. But like my father, I could not let Samosa get away with his crimes. But most of all... Chico. He is too much like his papa. One way or the other, he was going to stay. And I could not leave him behind. Soon enough, La Guardia drove us out. And we found ourselves in the mountains. It just kind of happened. Wow. For an accidental well. revolutionary, you sure put up a hell of a fight. The mountains make men into warriors. The training is harsh, but it brings us that much closer to being hombres nuevos. Chico couldn't ask for a better sister. Chico I can see why they picked you to be commandante. Sister. When 
when I was little, I came down with malaria. Unlucky for me, it was the bad kind. I was in a daze the whole time. And at one point they said I was not going to make it. Mm. Malarial encephalopathy. I hear it's pretty common in tropical malaria cases. Even today, my memory sometimes gets a little fuzzy. Since then, I've had this fear of mosquitoes. When I hear them buzzing nearby, I get jumpy. Ah, that explains the chain smoking. See, I thought it might help keep the mosquitoes away, just a little. Maybe it is all in my head. You're the same way, right? Well, oh, I will say this. I prefer a cigar over mosquitoes. But wasps, though. Those things are delicious. <laughs> Me too. I've got to hand it to you. It takes guts to conquer your fear like that and live a gorilla's life in the wild. It is nothing. El Che did not let asthma stop him from leading the revolution. Compared to him, I am no hero. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a camera. I should take some pictures. I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Thank you for saying that. Mi viejo was the leader of the Frente. He was the last of the generation that knew General Sandino. He saw the general's exploits firsthand as a boy. He would tell us stories about it all the time and about how the general was assassinated. Did you know he was getting money from the KGB? I had some idea, but I did not have the courage to confront him about it. I know it was a painful decision for him to make. Uh, I can imagine. Yes, my father was a good man. I loved him as a daughter, and his soldiers believed in him. Thanks to him, La Frente held together even in the worst of times. I don't know if I can ever fill his shoes. Chico. Chico's 12, right? <laughs> right. Isn't he a little short for his age? Malnourishment. Food is hard to come by when you're running around in the jungle. <laughs> He's got quite an appetite. I know. I didn't want him to come in the first place, but there was no one to take him in. I had no choice but to look after him. Don't be so hard on yourself. Sometimes it's better for a kid to be with his family than far away in a safe place. Hmm. Thank you. Promise me this, though. When your fight is over, make sure he gets a proper education. Give him a chance to be something other than a gorilla. It's not too late to teach him something other than fighting. Okay, I promise. You know what book Chico really likes? The World Encyclopedia of Mysterious Creatures. Oh, he loves yeah. monsters, the Yeti. UMAs. Yeah, I know. He's still UMAs? so much like a boy. Wait, what's worry UMAs about stand for? He'll Am be identified. I know plenty of grown men who still go crazy over UMAs. Mysterious animals? Are you serious? Oh, Amanda, don't make fun of the cryptid lovers. Cryptids are cool. Does Miller like cryptids? He seems like a cryptid guy. Believe in Sasquatch, don't you, Miller? Oops, wait. You prob Miller's a mothman Don't guy. carry any more gear than you need. If you try and stuff your entire arsenal into your backpack, It'll be too heavy and your mobility will be impaired. You'll only be hurting yourself. I know. I Take know. Only what you need. Every rookie knows that. You can check the weight of your gear before heading out. So make sure you do. Got Miller it. Miller treats Snake like an idiot and Snake's mad. Don't talk to me like a child. Even a born warrior like you gets hand tremors, Snake. It happens even when you're full of stamina and it only gets worse when you're tired especially with larger, heavier weapons. Obviously, you'll get better aim crouching than you will standing. And when you use a scope, setting your sights on a single point will gradually give you a more precise aim. As we develop better weapons at Mother Base, though, you may gain access to new, low-tremor versions of the same guns. So if you expect the shakes to be a problem, you might want to put some resources into R&D. I'll keep it in mind. Then again, the more you use a weapon, the more your hands get used to it. Sometimes it pays to be faithful to your gun. Sexy, sexy gun. I'm so faithful to it. I wonder... I wonder if Japan says Yuma instead of UMA. Because they don't say UFO, they say UFO. 
which is funny. Choosing the right uniform is crucial. Pick one that matches the mission objective and your own combat style. Pink pants with no shirt. Naked. Naked. That's exactly what you are with this uniform. The pants are the same as the jungle fatigues. Obviously, since you're exposing your bare Very skin, your defense sexy. and camo index are going to be low. On the plus side, it's so light you can move around you quicker. Look super hot. <sighs> Good for her. Showing oh off muscles, too. Hey, Snake. I heard they gave you your old code name because you used to run around with your shirt off. Is that true? Don't believe everything you hear. They called me naked because I went in without gear or food. I had to procure everything on site. You mean they sent you into the jungle without even a pair of pants? On a halo jump from 35,000 feet? Sweet Jesus, you are a legend. You're busting my balls, aren't you, Kaz? Little bit, yeah. Hilarious. Little bit? A little bit of busting. A little bit of busting your balls. Haas is like, I wanna, is there video of you going into the jungle without pants on? Jungle fatigues are made for jungle combat. They provide decent protection and let you carry a fair number of weapons. Your standard uniform, basically. The distinguishing factor is that your camo index will vary a lot, depending on the area. Wear a pattern that makes you blend in with your surroundings, and your camo index goes up. Wear something that clashes, and you'll stick out like a sore thumb. Pick the right pattern for the occasion. Singit used to lecture me on it all the time. All busting. Game's about busting balls. All right. Oh yeah, I was just gonna do a marksmanship challenge. Um, wait, what do I got? Oh, is this a sniper rifle? Cool. Sniper rifle. Pants. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Yeah. You're done with that area. Head for Get the goal. Pass. Mission complete. Great God. job. It's incredibly sexy the way he puts his Fulton on. Was at least a B. Oh yeah, this game this game has very smooth controls. Really glad I played poops first. Okay, anyway. Rescue Chico. Snake. The nukes appear to have left the coastal marshes and reached the mountains around Irazu. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. As I'm sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. Those CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. The houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. 
The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so peepholes. you can see what's inside. Blue doors. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. Areas with a distinct dry season, like the Pacific Coast, have tropical dry forests. During the dry season, the trees drop their leaves. It gives you a clearer view, but at the same time, there are fewer places to hide. So be careful. Sounds dull. It is not really. What a lot jerk. of trees flower during the dry Sounds season, dull. including my favorite, the Tabebuya. It has these amazingly vivid yellow flowers. Costa Rica has several active volcanoes, Irasu being one of them. That's where Camino de Lava comes from, huh? The tropical dry forests around here are quite different from our rainforests. They lose their leaves in the dry season. Tropical forests are not all thick jungles. A few of them even have cacti. Some of Costa Rica's greatest assets are its diverse forests and natural landscapes. Costa Rica got its first real railroads up and running about a hundred years ago. Their primary purpose was to move coffee harvested in the central basin to the Caribbean coast. They built railroads here a hundred years ago? That's impressive. It was even more difficult than you would imagine. Later, they started using the railroads for shipping bananas too. There still might be some branch lines around here. This game is all about bananas. Aldea de los Despiertos means Village of the Awake. <laughs> Weird name. Uh -huh. The area is littered with coffee fields, and there is a factory nearby. The villagers are fans of coffee, so... Nah, they don't get much sleep, huh? They've got a sense of humor, all right. I cannot believe they would take over a place like this and use it as a prison. It is unforgivable for both la CIA and the thugs they employ. All the villagers wanted was to live in peace. What gives the CIA the right to crush them like that? They don't care about anyone's rights but their own. It's just the way some people are. You really think so? Don't worry. It just gives me the right to teach them a lesson. Oh, thank you, Dai Eugene. I appreciate it. La CIA. Amanda. How do I get to the prison camp? First, head up the narrow mountain path. The path will gradually open up and you'll come to a fork in the road. Watch yourself up there. You'll be lower than the surrounding terrain. So if you head down the middle, you'll make for an easy target. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Take the leftward path to reach the prison camp. Left, got it. Oh, there's more. What can you tell me about the prison camp? Well, it used to be a village until they took control of it. It's a maze of paths, so watch out for soldiers on patrol. <laughs> I'll be sure not to stop and say hi. Use the paths carefully, and it you should be state. able to stay out of view. Where are they holding Chico? One of the houses, most likely. You can peek through the doors. Just press the action button when the icon appears. You could also listen to any sounds inside for clues. Good idea. Guards will still be on the move while you're looking inside. Make sure you don't get caught. And Snake. I know. I'll bring him back. Thank you. I know I can count on you. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm playing the remastered version, but this seems like a whole lot for a PSP game. All right, I'm ready. My body's ready. Survival. Survival. All right, get our sleepy gun. And, uh... Oh, I forgot I had a rocket launcher. I guess I could have used that on the tank, huh? Um, I'll have a sniper rifle as a backup. No, I'll just bring a pistol. That's fine. Grenades. That's all I got. Ration. Minos. Oh yeah, I have my camera. I wanna try taking pictures.
I've never really played Monster Hunter. It's a bit, it's a bit much for me. Like I've tried the demos before, and I just get like super overwhelmed by them. A butterfly. Whoa! Cuz look at this butterfly. Head north if you want to find Chico. MGS Snap. Yeah, where's my where's my MGS photography game spinoff? I had a lot of fun taking pictures of the dogs in MGS4. That was one of my favorite parts. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. How many Fultons I got? Wait, did I forget my Fultons? Oh wait, no, they're in this one. Ten. I only got one more. Ooh, C rank. That's pretty good. Up you go. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Gonna keep getting guys. Just like making friends. That I can't eat things because those mushrooms look really tasty. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on Did anybody board ever helicopter. play um Amazon Trail? You like it was like a computer game and you were like in a river. And you had to take pictures of animals. It was pretty cool. Sniper, better be careful if you don't want your head blown off. Maybe I do. What of it, cause? You won't get up there alone. With some help, maybe. Come and help me then, bozo. They're using the scarecrow for sniper training. They're coming over here. Recovery helicopter is complete. Slay Snake, help Chico. A sniper. Nothing here. Uh, so. Hey, thanks for the sub, Diogene. the sniper at? Oh. Over here somewhere? Snipers will get a beat on you from a distance. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not there. Oh god. There he is. We found the enemy. Send back up. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. Oh god, a prisoner. Oh. 
With a handgun. Hey, prisoner. Welcome to the team, baby. That guy just like woohoo -hoo off there. You just Ultimate like really have fun on that Fulton ride. Woohoo! Oh, I'm glad you like the emotes. I want a theme park that has a Fulton ride. Are these guys any good? E. No, thank you. E. I suck. Reinforcements suck. Whatever, I don't need any of those bozos. A reverse bungee jump, yeah. I got. Can't see from this menu. Dude, go down. Chico's in one of these houses. You've got to find him, Snake. I still got four. Pretty good. What's your crotch rating? E. than an E at least. This guy. Scanning balls. E. Alright, well I guess I'll get that D. Get that D. Thanks to get that D. Explodes though. Whoa! Hi! We're on the run! <laughs> Alright, you can come with us too, I guess. Who's there? 
Chico, it's me. Joy. Joy, that photographer. That's me. That's right. A war Here's my camera. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. The, the yeah, war birds. Uh, the birds <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Whoa. Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used. You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. Those photos. Birds of war. Oh, oh no, Amanda. She's safe. Don't worry. Are you sure? We're patching her up back in my place. She's hurt? I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. You got any cigarettes? Mm. Hey, cigar, huh? Hey! Not for kids. You're not cool enough to Chico. smoke a cigar. Do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compas ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. The king of snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bada at least. He was walking on legs as big as Gecko. trees. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel. But I only saw move? it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh... Well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Hmm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? <sighs> Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. He sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. He tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and... I tried to set it on fire. <laughs> Everyone treats me like a child. I, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Couldn't do it though, could you? <laughs> Chico, growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave the things you care about behind. Parents. Family, Snake, you're not helping. Your homeland. Mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Twelve-year-old man. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. <laughs> Keep them safe. <laughs> you want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. Oh my god, do we get a child soldier? I can't go back. I can't face everybody. <laughs> you told them where your compas are. I see. Well, I guess I gotta kill you. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. <laughs> I wish 
I was dead. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? Shoot. You are only going to kill a man. I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? Oh, You're whoa. Huevo. Thanks for the raid, Pichio Pie. Now, give that Welcome to, to me. Snake threatening mm -hmm. to kill a child. Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. <laughs> Dry your tears, then promise me one thing. No smoking until you get older. Remember, real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Uh, Snake is fine. What's that? Ah! Have fun. Here's your first Fulton. Wow, big boss's first child soldier. So many more to come. Oh, C4. Support supply. What's that? Support strike blueprints. A de los despiertos. Snake, Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it. Don't Wait, why does that? everyone wear yellow scarves? Now you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me! <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trap. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a... balloon! I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. It's a Calibri. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. He's 12. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution? You pick up a gun, and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother, and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive, because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. Well, not just that, because they're compas. All right, but first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that Basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs. You know, what do you mean? Like you just said you knew what UMAs were, Snake. Or legendary monsters. His One brain day, cell just freaking short circuited. Is that right? Okay, sure. If you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. He was telling Kaz okay, all about Snake. UMAs, and the I was like, "What's a UMA?" Headed for the next outpost, a rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy has a hands. brain cell. You've got to stop them. Hurry, it works Snake. very hard.
Ah, Colibri is a hummingbird. Boss, okay. I had an idea. Listen to this. Let me guess. Sexy You want to start party running ads guess. in the local gossip rags. Please, what do you take me for? I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. They could probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. Cool. More choice, more chores for our more boys. Nice. Wow. Could just call it an airstrike. Hi, Chico. Yes. Taco flavored tortilla chips, not Doritos. They're taco flavored tortilla chips. Legally distinct. Good job, boys. Intel team. Supply sport. Sport strikes. Marker. Higher level, more supplies you can transport. I got a mission you can also receive information about the enemies and prisoners. Oh. Cool. Alright, let's see all our new boys. What the heck is this? Need a helping hand. Wow, flying fish just does not freaking beat around the bush. Who goes on our sexy sport team? Chico, if you see any UMAs, you tell me, okay? Like ancient dinosaurs and rare monsters and stuff. When I grow up, I want to be a hunter. You have to take the hunter exam if you want to do that. But yeah, I just finished an incredible story. Could you read it and let me know what you think? Oh, Rhea wants to be a writer. Oh yeah, I'll read your story, Rhea. Alligator, this place can hold so many bodies. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think Alligator might be a serial killer. So make sure you bring back the best you can find, at least as good as me. He listed as a child soldier? Oh, he is. Cross it out and write man soldier. Black Sea Frame. I'm saving up all the money I make here, so when I get back to the States, I can go to college. Wait, we're paying these guys? I thought we were just like, like, hurting them. Stingray. I got two yolks in my egg this morning, so I'm gonna work twice as hard today. Or at least complain half as much. So, the key to motivating our troops is double yolks. You guys are getting paid? <laughs> Anemone fish. When's the party gonna start, amigo? It's already started. We, we, well, it'll start after we work hard. Emu. It's a real honor fighting with you. That ellipses makes it very suggestive. Like, if it was just a period, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, buddy, it's a real honor fighting with you, but the ellipses makes it like, hmm. Ah, boss, glad you're here. We were short one guy tonight. Care to join us for a little game? Oh, what game are they playing? Mongoose? This is, I, like, this is, I just, like, imagine him walking on, in on a game of, like, strip poker. Join us, boss. They're all suggestive. Everything that happens in Mother Base is suggestive. Leopard. I know it takes more than weapons to make us strong and all, but at least give us some decent gear, alright? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one I can't get over. Need a helping hand. Alright. Where are we putting all our sexy soldiers? Where did Chico go? Uh, he's on our intel team. Cool. Wait, what is... Oh. Okay. Cool. The 
develop some stuff. And, yep, oh, here we go. Make some C4. Need more Fultons. More Fultons. Oh, my tank's recovering. My tank's in the the health ward with Amanda. Verify the date and time. Oh, you guys send me presents. Can you guys send me presents? Music on it? Oops. <laughs> but only if you've co opt. Okay, we'll have to figure out some of this co op stuff because there's, there's a lot of co op stuff to do in this game. like an office job. Here's a rundown of your mission. This one's perfect for a warm-up. Nice and easy. Don't let yourself get lazy, though. Stick to it and get the job done. Yes, sir. Wait, did I already listen to this? There's a lot of... Oh, I already listened to all these banana ones. Oh, we got Chico audio now, too. Tell me about yourself, Chico. Amanda's so bossy! It's always, follow me or, or stay here. The Wait, other day she told me, me, chew your gallo pinto before you swallow. <laughs> can you believe it? Knowing your sister? Yeah, I can. The enemy could strike at any time. I can't sit around taking my sweet time eating. I'm a Sandinista, just like the others. I don't need some woman telling me what to do. Some woman? She's your sister, and she's doing the best she can to fill your father's shoes. I know, I know, but... Lately, she hasn't been doing so good. I should be strong for her. Now you're talking. Sorry to hear about your dad. Don't be. He was... He is a guerrilla warrior. We pledge our lives to our country and its people. I'm ready to die too if I have to. You sure? You better believe it. I literally Let just tried to kill you, kid. Patria and you cried like a baby. Uh, Che said it first. My dad used to tell us all kinds of stories. About General Sandino and his fight against La Guardia. About my mom before she left us. You didn't want to go with her. It's not like that. La Revolución comes first, that's all. You must wish you could see her, though. I don't know. But I know I'll see her again when this is all over. Somehow, I, I just know it. When I do, me and my mom and papa are all going to live together again. At least... At least that's what I thought. Now, I... Hang in there, Chico. Your sister needs you. Okay. 
quotes from Che. Have you ever heard, shoot, coward? You're only going to kill a man. Yeah, mm. I literally said that Che's to you. Che's last words. He'd been captured in Bolivia and said it to the soldiers just as they were about to execute him. El Che. He was something, wasn't he? Coming up with a line like that knowing he was about to die. After the Cuban Revolution, Che gave up his position in the new government to aid in revolutions in other countries. He knew he could die at any time. And he was ready for it. Me? I couldn't even take a little torture. But you've been reborn as an hombre nuevo. Right, Chico? Right. Oh, thank you, Choco Cakey. Don't you ever get lonely living away from your mom? Not really. My compas are my family now. A lot of them are from the same village as me. So you had plenty of people to take care of you. Take care of me? I'm a warrior, like any other Sandinista. We look out for each other. That is how it works. Uh, sorry. Guess I misspoke. Now we're scattered because of that colibri. Wonder where everybody went. Hey, Snake. If you see any friendly prisoners, please, you gotta get them out, okay? Those guys are solid, every one. You could use them in MSF. Hey, Snake. Are there any jobs for me here at Mother Base? I can do anything. You don't have to work, you know. Ah, don't treat me like a kid. I'm a man now. Okay, then. What are you good at? Hmm, let Crying. me think. Ah, uh, everything! Pull me on any team. I can pull my own weight. <laughs> well, you are young. You'll probably be a fast learner. I'll think of something. Anything you need, boss. You'll see. I can fight as good as anybody. But you are the front lines. I'm gonna take a quick break and then we will do this. Dr. Chico. Yeah, we got a Kazi emote. Use him responsibly. Alright. Time to get some documents. Oops! Forgot to do mission prep. I think I'm okay though. I'm not wearing my pink. Where they could be. Oh my god, stop aiming at the barrel, you idiot. The enemy's close.
Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Nice shot. Feeling there's not a whole lot of guys here, so I can probably take them all. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Fulton recovery helicopter is it's complete. Me. Guess not. Guess not. I'm from that. Oh, that guy. Fence boy. Whatever. One of the soldiers may know the location of the target. Go interrogate to interrogate someone. Grab them with CQC and press the okay. action button. I like how their documents are just like lying on the ground. It's bad offsec. Just throw their documents in the dirt. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Ow. Start talking. Huh? Start talking. What do you mean so this is oh, yeah, show me. How do I make him show me? Check your map. Oh, okay. Thanks, baby. Now you can be my friend. Five, isn't there? That area is not part of the mission. Oh, he only showed me one. What a ding this. Only two more. There's no guys to interrogate because I sent them all up to the helicopter. Oh, there's one. Where's the last piece of paper? There's not that many places it can be. Recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. Now you just have to make it to the goal point. Keep your guard up. Did it. I knew you could do it. Piece of cake, right? Short-winged weapon in favor taking down enemies with non-loot force. That's like the nicest rank I've ever gotten. When I finished MGS4, it just gave me ranks that made fun of me.
Like here, you're an inchworm because you kept looking at Snake's butt crawling on the ground. Squares. Naked. Nobody ever suspects the butterfly. Ooh, RPG. Poor Beagle. I went through hell and knob. I'm ready for anything. Mackerel. How fast a trank dart works depends on where it hit. Ack, what the? Uh, it's just <laughs> silly. Mustang. With a high enough morale, a soldier can do things he never thought possible. Me, I'm ready to rock. He's starting he's starting a rock band. His morale got so high, he used to become a rock musician. A good Gotta get your hands dirty to win a war. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, a goody. I know what you're talking about. Ooh. Wait, is a mandal better? Why does it say new? Oh, did I just not look at hers? You need a special talent to become a cacique. Take someone great to unite all of those compass. Yellow tail. Not one for words. Okay. See if we can develop anything. RPG. Oh yeah, viewer model. Wait, I gotta go I gotta go check that out. I thought we could look at the models of everything. I gotta go look at my tortilla chips. <laughs> Organic taco chips. Borderless taste. Taco flavored tortilla stack and fried oil. Oh it's going too fast. Taco flavored tortilla snack fried in oil, a flatbread made from cornmeal dough. The tortilla is a traditional staple of Central America that is widely used for soft shell tacos. Can I, I can't rotate it. I want to see the back of my tacos. What else? Where's my lime soda? Oh, I can't see the lime soda yet. The box. See the love box? How many things don't have models? But the tortilla chips do. Off brand MSF Doritos. materials will be loaded from a train and onto a truck at a rail terminal near the eastern foot of Irazu. If we can't cut him off at that terminal, we'll be in a world of hurt. Hurry, Snake. Yes, sir. Let's 
CIA has taken control of this coffee factory too. All to produce its drugs. It was famous once for its fine beans. Mm, Café Tal Aroma Encantado. Enchanting aroma, huh? See, si. once we have thrown the mercenaries out of Costa Rica, I know it will make wonderful coffee again. And then you must come and try some snake. Sounds great. I wouldn't mind a cup of joe after all this is over. Oh, wait. What is wrong? No, I just remembered this guy I knew who wasn't big on coffee. English. Get rid of that muddy water and get a cup of black tea down your gob, he'd say. <laughs> that is too bad for him. It is delicious. I like Snake somehow impersonating an even gruffer voice than his own. But I don't know why he does that voice for Zero. Like, why does Zero sound like an even gruffer Solid Snake? As I said before, building railroads in Costa Rica was a dangerous job. A lot of men died, and sometimes they stopped work altogether. This is one of those places. They had to cut through steep terrain, so when they finally made it through, they just built the rail terminal right there. And that is why they named it... El Cadalzo. El Cadalzo. The Gallows. Charming. I'm surprised the construction money didn't dry up the way things were going. Actually, it did. But the bananas helped complete it. So they say. You mean the energy the workers got from eating bananas? Oh, I suppose they do have plenty of vitamins and... <laughs> no, no, no. I meant the money they got to finish it came from exporting bananas. Oh. But one thing is for certain. The owners of the railroads expanded into the banana trade after construction was completed. That was the start of banana cultivation in Costa Rica. Amanda, do you know the way to the rail terminal? Remember the locomotive by the fork in the road before the village? Yeah, back in the jungle. Follow the train tracks from there and you'll come to the terminal. But there's a plant along the way. Disguised as a coffee factory? Yes. It is their drug refining plant. La Cia controls it now. Cutting through there is the shortest way, but it'll be crawling with soldiers. If you want to go around... No, forget it. If that's the shortest way, that's the way I'll take. Besides, it's one of their bases. It'll be good intel. Very good. A number of guards at the plant are positioned on high walkways. Be sure to study their movements before you advance. Or I could just snipe them first. The plant's layout is another maze, I'm afraid. She just totally cool. ignored that comment. Make your way out of the plant and you'll arrive at the terminal. You know a lot about this place. What are you saying? I've been there before, when the KGB ran it, yes. But it is not as if I enjoyed it. No, I just meant you know a lot about how the enemy works. I hope so. Anyway, did you talk to Chico about the terminal? He said it's where they transfer the cargo onto trucks. Meaning the facility is of considerable importance to them. Don't get careless. I won't. By the way, I've heard of a shortcut that cuts straight to the coffee factory, to the east of the village, but I've never used it myself. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for the tip. The supply staging point is at the eastern foot of Irasu. There's a rail terminal there. They'll probably transfer the nuke from the train onto a truck. Gotcha. I'll have to catch them while they're moving the cargo. But you might run into El Basilisco. Keep your eyes peeled, Snake. An 80-foot-tall walking behemoth. The CIA's new weapon? Mm. Could be. Too bad it's not actually a dinosaur. I think they're testing it up at the base on top of the mountain. I met a guy in Russia who described it as a metal gear linking infantry and artillery. Metal gear? Hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like maybe it's connected to everything that's happening here somehow. The nukes? You don't think... What else could it be? If it is up there, I'll just have to improvise. Either way, I won't know until I get there. Watch your back, Snake. Hey. Let's listen to... Special items. Ooh, cardboard box. Snake, about cardboard boxes. <laughs> it feels kind of weird me explaining this stuff to you. 
but there have been a few recent developments in cardboard box technology. So just to be safe, here goes. Go on. You can do much more with a box than just yeah, hide under it. You can put it someplace and leave it there. Huh? You can get on top of it and use it to reach high places, or hide from the enemy in its shadow. Mm. You could never do that I before. Like what I'm hearing you so could never far. leave a box and alone that's not before. All. You can even put items in it and send them to co op's teammates. Really? I never thought of any of that. Damn. Is there anything a cardboard box can't do? Every soldier should have one. Yeah, well, don't get too excited. This isn't exactly what they were made for. Which reminds me, don't you think the boxes around here are a little on the big side? You're right. I bet two people could fit under one box, if they packed in tight enough. They call them love boxes. Love boxes? Of course, you don't need a love box to fit two people inside. Any box of similar size will do. Love box. Wow. Two men in a box. Up to two people can fit inside a cardboard box. Tell me how. Move Tell close to how. a box with a teammate inside, and an icon will appear. Then press the action button. You'll stay inside as long as the action button is pressed. So, same as snake formation, huh? Exactly the same. same in fact, when what? you put on a cardboard box when snake in, both of you can climb inside. Ah, a box big enough to hold me and my buddy. These are fine times we live in, hey, Kaz? Yeah. Sure, boss. Box big enough to hold me and my bu my buddy. <laughs> Good, the freaking moe, moe, so perfect. Oh my goodness. What's the snake? Oh, snake formation. Is it in here? Oh, here. Another thing, during a mission, you can assume what we'll call the snake formation. Same as your code name. But probably not standard operating procedure for a guy who specializes in going solo. Damn right. There's only room for and one also snake. Five more. In co-ops, though, it's a highly effective formation. The signal for snake formation is to tap your teammate on the shoulder. Hmm. Can't form up until you're close enough to reach out and touch someone. Entering snake formation is called going snake in. Snake in. When you're snake in. The soldier at the front of the line controls movement. Oh, it's like a conga The soldiers line. in back focus on scouting and attack. Snake in, snake out, snake in. Just because your heart stops doesn't mean you're dead immediately. Right. The heart just circulates blood through the body. But stopping it does cut oxygen supply to the brain. You'll be dead soon after. Which is why we have CPR. Let's say your heart does stop. If someone performs CPR before your brain cells die, you can recover. In co-ops, when the life gauge drops to zero, it means you're in a near-death state. You won't be able to move or anything else. Performing CPR on near-death teammates can bring them back into action. Of course, performing CPR in the middle of battle isn't exactly safe. You're leaving yourself exposed. Even so, in co-ops, you and your teammates are all in the same boat. Don't think you can get away with leaving one of them behind. I wouldn't think of it. And I'd expect them to do the same for me. If you let all your teammates die during a mission, there'll be nobody left to save you. And then, it's game over. Oh, there's so many things. Snake, about that cassette player Galvez was carrying. What about it? That was no Russian imitation. It was the real deal. A prototype developed by a Japanese company. Get out of here. It's true. It had the Sony logo on it. The product name is Walkman. Walkman. It's a revolutionary Walk new Man. concept. Music you can listen to on the go. You can take it with you when you leave the house. I gave it a listen, and you wouldn't believe how good the sound quality is for something so tiny. And in stereo, too. Think of the technology that must have gone into it. And that tape is equally amazing. The treble range is clearly superior to any other cassette ever made. Stylish, too. How'd Galvez get his hands on a model that's not even out yet? Beats me. It's not the kind of thing I'd expect some stodgy Soviet to be into. Mm, me neither. Tell you what, though. It's a fine piece of work. It'll let me listen to my music when I want. 
where I want. Well, I never like thought I'd hear you say that, but I have to agree. Me? I'm a recording freak, and I always used to laugh at the idea of a portable player. But now that I've seen it in action, I've changed my mind. Being able to take your music with you, this could be the start of a revolution in music. Could be. I'm having the guys at Mother Base study and analyze it. Who knows? They might be able to come up with something even better. Wow. What a time to be alive. All right. Let's see. Um, sniper. No. Sniper. Bring C4 just in case I gotta blow something up again. Um, ooh, tortilla chips! Train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. Yeah, what kind of what kind of I mean we know what kind of music Otacon listens to. To get to the coffee factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the what road. What kind of music does David listen to? I always picture him listening to like old cowboy music, like Johnny Cash. Somebody there? Come here, babe. I'll seek you, see you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Okay. Whoa! We're under attack! Fine, things are fine. back and imagine dragons. Poor snake. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Oh hey, can I blow this up? Gonna attract some attention, but uh, oh. somebody there. We're under attack. Stay down. You see this baby? No, not that one. C4. C4, this baby. Wait, how do I use my C4? Like trying to punch with it. Do I have a timer? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna see, you see the wall. I don't need explosives.
can't even that go this way. Not part of the mission. A whole lot of nothing. Start by making your way to the coffee factory. Oh, it's down that way. There's a coffee factory to the northeast. Beyond that is a train terminal. Sniper again. See him? Are they gonna get to the coffee factory? Miller is always sassy. It's just a sass master. More of my compass might be in there. Please, please help them. Is my silence? No, my silencer is fine. Oh, there's a buddy. Do not know about the Monster Hunter mission. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. I was gonna try to get items off the prisoner, but I guess I probably should do that. Oh, gosh, I want to ride a Fulton so bad. I need to make a Metal Gear theme park. Fulton's. This guy worth it? How big your dick? Nah, he's not worth it. Get up there alone with some help, maybe. Oh, wait, can I use? Does he say that every time I buy something like large? Wait, I don't know if it's a ration. I don't have a. Have a box with me. Pass through the coffee.
coffee factory to reach the train terminal. Let's get in here. Oh, is that another friendo? Oh uh oh, is that another friendo? I used too many balloons. I only have one. I only have one balloon left. Oh wait, no, I have two. We're good. We're good. We can get both these friendos. Hi, bud. Welcome to the team. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. This is something so satisfying about s slapping a balloon on a guy. How do I get over there? climb up something. Looks like that's all of them. I got all the Thank friendos. <gasps> said, huh? Oh, is there a guy up there? Oh. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Snake, don't climb ladders so loudly. You don't have to grunt every time you get on the ladder. up here or is that this guy? <laughs> I'm seeing things. He says as he gets slammed to the ground. Put my tortilla chips. Oh, I can drop them? Oh, I thought it meant like you could drop them for soldiers. I think it just means drop. Dropped him to share with other people. Oh, nice. Uh, there's a lot of boys. Who wants tortilla chips? Looks like we're just in time. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. Dude, this guy just took a nap all of a sudden. Oh, come on, don't reload. Hey. Hmm? Uh oh. We're being shot at. Going to alert status. Understood. Maintain heightened alert. Hey. Uh oh. I can do this, I can do this. Look at this guy, he's just wandering. This guy's like not even paying attention. This is HQ. Nap time What's for wrong? everybody. What's going Nothing. on over there? Nap time. Don't bother our nap time. <laughs> You'll have to neutralize all those guards. <laughs> Uh 
Uh oh. Big target. Remember the license plate? I already forgot it. takes on that bad boy. Oh, I'm so glad they separate the boss fights. Remember the tread depth. A, B. That's not bad. B for buddies. Ooh, Sonic Eye. That sounds um, too advanced for the 70s. Unlike any everything else in this game, which is very realistic. RPG. Machine gun. Sonic eye. It does not look like an eye. Good job, rhinoceros, civet, migmouth, stork, leopard. Enemy soldiers sent to the brig. Intense hostility. Alright. New friends. Blue whale. There's two basic ways to take on a unit with a mech. Overwhelm them with sheer firepower or take out the soldiers first and then capture the ma machine. Decisions, decisions. Wasp. They say there are monsters out there somewhere in this country. If you hunt one down, you can use it to develop amazing gear. Of course, I don't believe a word of it. Well, I do. Smelt. Good eats every day. Aw, man. Love you, Smelt. Moose. Sometimes it's good to grab life by the horns. That's why they call him Moose. Jaguar. Guns kill people? Bro, sometimes guns are the only things that save lives. Okay, Jaguar might be a white supremacist, so... Uh... Gonna keep an eye on this guy. Mammoth. They call him Moose because he's bisexual. Gotta get your hands dirty. Oh, this is another one of these guys. This is one of the dirty hands guys. I know. He is a three-star chef. Hopefully we can convert him. We'll just do enough sexy dancing that he eventually comes over to our side. Ooh, but Sivet's also a three-star chef. I'll show you how to get it done the smart way. That's the kind of guy I am. Eh, yeah, wise guy, eh? Stonefish. One thing I've realized since I got here, there's all kinds of people in this world. <laughs> he, get, he, he gets to this military base full of hot buff men and he's like, wow, there's so many kinds of people in the world. <laughs> so many kinds of hot men. Stonefish smoking? He looks like he is, but I think that's just uh, his, his very intense lip shading. Maybe he is. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Are these like generated or are they just like a pool of them? Bobcat. Looks like another late night at the office. Fridays, am I right? Um, okay. Cool. Off you go. Man, we got so much food. Ooh, up 
upgrade our sound indicator. Fancy. Oh, I'm gonna run out of money. Well, I can buy this at least. Guys, we need more money. I need a need a I need a division that makes money. We need to start selling sexy pictures. We need to start selling sexy calendars of our soldiers. Mother based fundraiser. Have a bake sale, but while all the men will just wear aprons and nothing else. Mother base a burlesque show. So many good fundraising ideas. Military entirely funded by sexy calendars. Hell yeah. Mother based. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, we got a Fulton recovery mission. Here's a rundown of your mission. This one's perfect for a warm up. Nice and easy. Don't let yourself get lazy though. Stick to it, and get the job done. Around here they say La CIA instead of CIA, huh? Um, nothing strange about it. That's how it's pronounced when you read it in Spanish. It has the feminine noun ending a, ah, so they use the article la. Apparently some people have taken C to using the term UCLA. She, That's her new pronouns. one to me. What's it mean? It stands for unilaterally controlled Latino assets. Meaning they're local agents? Yeah, that's the idea. Washington uses them like pawns. Nobody knows who they really are or what they're doing. Cooperative operations, or co-ops for short, is the term Oops. for taking on missions in teams of two or more. The basic co-ops unit is a two-man cell. Even a single teammate is great to have in enemy territory. And there are actually quite a few things you can't do by yourself. You can help each other you climb walls, divide up mission roles. On the other hand, if one of you is spotted, the other one's screwed too. And it's kind of tough for two people to hide in one small space. Good point. But what's more important than anything is how close you are to your comrades. Well said. Working as a two-man cell can make the mission easier or harder, depending on how well you work together. It's also good to note that if you've got a clear, specific objective, it can be to your advantage to use an even bigger team. That said, teams of three or more run a much greater risk of being spotted. Yeah. In a sneaking mission, the fewer people you have, the easier it is to get around. In co-ops, you can trade weapons and equipment with your teammates. You can also display your teammates' inventories from your weapon or equipment menu. Ammo is shared too, of course. Ammo, sure. How about life? That also shared? Yep. You all sink or swim together. Your teammate dies, you die. You no. need to be within a certain Beautiful. distance of each other to swap items. Yeah, I know. I've been in this business so long I can virtually see that distance. Looks kind of like a ring in my head. That's why you're the boss. Okay, we'll call it the co-op ring. And entering the ring will be called going co-op in. I see. Building trust with your teammates is essential to success in co-ops. That goes without saying. I'm not going to let somebody I can't trust cover my ass. The measure of that trust is called camaraderie. Cause Think of it as an indicator of how strong your ass. bond is with your co-op's teammates. The friendlier you act toward them, the greater your camaraderie. Give me an example. Your camaraderie will be higher if you're co-op in than standing apart. Saving a teammate's life with CPR also strengthens your bonds with them. Things like hitting a teammate with friendly fire will All cause your camaraderie to go down. Death because they mm. want to get a kiss from Makes the sense. Camaraderie carries over from mission to mission. The next time you go co-ops in with the same guy, you'll start off strong. Oh no, boss, but I'm be dying. careful. 
If you keep taking new people with you on missions, your camaraderie with past teammates eventually reverts back to its original level. Got it. I'll have to make sure to renew old friendships once in a while. The performance benefits gained from Snake Sink and co-ops depend on your camaraderie. It's always best to keep things cool with your teammates. Sometimes. Just give your teammates a little smooch. And it'll make them feel good. Alright. Fultons. Okay, that's all I need, I think. Get all these new friendos. Neutralize all the soldiers without killing them, and then use the Fulton recovery Who's system. That? Oh, come on, go down. Are for suckers. Huh? Uh oh, someone. looking at me. I'm seeing things. That. Oh, that guy. Subject confirmed on board helicopter. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Hey, bud. Right in the butt. If you had something to stand on, you could probably reach that. I'm seeing things. Fine. Come on, Dart. Come on, I totally got him in the butt. There he goes. <sighs> hey, I got a trophy. Stunt specialist. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. Troll man. Hobby magazine. Ooh. Cologne. What? All my troops are going to smell so good. In Japan, it's Axe. Oh my gosh. Sensor that displays nearby sound sources as animated symbols. Interesting. It will only work when lying down or against the wall. Hmm. Oh, baby. Gonna make my troops smell so good. How do I earn money? Is that just like, is that like the points that I get during the mission? The analyzer tells, tiger. The analyzer tells you how good a soldier is, so you can pick the best ones to recruit. That's the most logical way to go about it. Or, 
you can just recruit them all and sort them out later. Big Boss invented Axe and Doritos. It's true. It's the things they don't teach you in history class. Flamingo. Let's put our heads together and make Mother Base grow. Terrier. Oh, he's also a grab life by the horns guy. But it's not as funny when his name is Terrier. Macaw. This place is full of morons. That's why I love it so much. Sexy idiots. Himbo paradise. <laughs> Kangaroo. I, I don't want to fight. I want to be a cook. Well... Maybe you should have at least some cooking skills, Kangaroo. He literally has nothing. He's not even an E rank. He has absolutely zero cooking skills. He can't even boil water. When you develop something in R&D, the money gets refunded to you. Oh, okay. Don't put Kangaroo in the cafeteria, even though he wants to be a cook. He'll feed us rocks. I think I can... Oh no, oh yeah, I can get this one. Oh wait, oh no! Oh no! I spent all the money on the analyzer and I can't get the cologne. My troops are gonna stink. Dang it. Big Boss could eat the rocks, probably. Tank, huh? Snake, that's an enemy tank unit. Either neutralize the soldiers or destroy the tank. Get them. An enemy tank. Is there somewhere you can hide, boss? There are train cars, but they won't hold up against a gun like that. Even a freight train? Incredible. Mm, but they keep me out of sight. Temporarily. Use them to look for an opportunity to hit its treads or the fuel tank at the back. But Don't forget about that gun, huh? Or the soldiers. They may try to flank you. Right. You can also stop it by taking out all the soldiers. You can do it, Snake. Okay. Maybe this time... Maybe I'll try to snipe soldiers and RPG the tank oh wait but I want to try to get the but no I want I want to I want to knock out the main guy again so maybe we'll do tranks and sniper and see how that goes forget it brings supply markers. Well, I already did. Yeah, these tanks are like little clown cars. It's pretty impressive. You don't have any supply markers. Are you gonna have enough know. ammo? Maybe you should pull back and reorganize things first. Whoops. Oh, I'm so shaky. Whoa! Can I not snipe these guys because they have helmets? Whoa! Oh god, the train. Okay. Can I, can I restart this? Here we go. Do 
you aren't friends with your guns yet. Yeah. supply markers. Oh, they're over here. hearts over with taco chips and cologne, but I don't have cologne yet. his helmet off. with a sniper rifle. Doesn't let me change my items. Neutralize the enemy troops. They're trying to find you. Make sure they don't. Own soldiers, it's nuts. I don't think I want the 
sniper rifle on this. Oh god. Can my CTC the fuel tank? Okay, let's um bring in some big guns. Cause the sniper rifle is not super effective right now. Cause all the dudes are like wearing helmets. Snake. So we'll try it this way. Big or go home.
This tank has a really good turning range. How did that not blow up the fuel tanks? This dude, these fuel tanks are freaking indestructible. Oh god, I'm out of rockets. I see. Keep rations equipped to automatically recover life when it reaches zero. Dude, why won't those fucking fuel tanks explode? I've hit them with like five rockets. waking up. Oh, 
how is that not dead? Are you kidding me? I don't have any more rockets. it behind me. Oh god, I'm dead. What happened? Snake? Snake! Why don't the rockets blow up the fuel cans? I don't understand. Like, the tank was almost exploded but the fuel cans were still intact snake that's an enemy tank you i can only take two guns which is really which is like the hardest part because i want like i want to capture the tank are hard to take down. I mean, I did good on the first one. Oh yeah, did I have chips that I didn't eat? Whoops. Um, I wish my sniper rifle worked better. Let's try the same thing again. I should probably put the rations right next to the snake. Not to the snake, next to the snacks. I should put my Doritos next to my normal snacks. Give me more! More, more! You'll have to wait a bit. Try again He's later. so bad at me. Hey, 
trying to make.
announce they're gonna fire right before they fire. It's very helpful. Already? Can you take him down? You know that tank's still in like good condition. slides out. Welcome to the friend team. Yay. Oh, I got an A rank. 69%. Nice. Ooh, a Mosin. Ooh, Curry. Ooh, El Cadalso. Nice. Snake, the truck is headed up the mountain road past the tunnel. So it was nukes after all. What now? Their main base is up ahead. I better hurry after them then. But Kaz, if I don't get moving, it'll be too late. All right. I guess you never did let dangerous assignments or risk aversion get in your way. How do I get inside the mountain? I can forget about the tunnel. Yeah, the tank took care of that. Any other routes? Why don't I let a local expert take over? Snake, you need a way into the mountain? Yeah, got one. Let's see. Uh, do you remember that precinct I was in? In the village, right? Right. Go back to the village and head north. There is a bridge that connects to the mountain road. It crosses over a gorge. That's probably the best way. But there is a little problem. The path heading north from the village is barricaded. You might have to break through. Got it. The heart of Irasu. That's where the enemy's base has got to be, Snake. And maybe... Well, let me guess. The Basilisco. You don't believe me, do you? No, I mean... We'll have to see. Snake, Inazu features a number of crater lakes. The Odeberg government had planned to use those lakes to construct hydroelectric plants as one of its big state development projects. The project was scrapped, but there's still a small opening at the bottom of the lake. Meaning? I checked the satellite imagery, but didn't see anything man-made, which means they probably built a base inside the mountain. Could just be a storage igloo for explosives, or maybe some kind of research facility. What do they hope to accomplish by bringing the nukes there? First things first, get past that barricade north of the village. Looks like the House only way like through is the noisy way. You'll have to blow it up. All right, new friendos. Like the most exciting part is just to see all our new friends. We can trade staff. Oh my God, they are like Pokemon. Solid magazine. Excuse me? Do I have a magazine about my future son that doesn't even exist yet? Liquid magazine. Wait, where's the Solidus magazine? I want a, I want a sexy George Sears magazine. 
spicy curry. Goose, can you chill? Ant, Rooper, Cottontail, chill guys. Do my brick guys just not say anything? <laughs> Bunch of dorks. Springbok. It's nice to have a place to come back home to. I'm glad I joined up with you. Aww. Well, we're glad to have you, Springbok. Ibex. I was just thinking the same thing as you, boss. Which was? I just imagine- I just- I just imagine, like, 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 Homer with, like, the little dancing cartoons in his head. <laughs> And Ibex is like, oh yeah, thinking the same thing. Duck, give me a mission, boss. Your mission is to quack. Alright. Gotta develop that cologne. It's the most important thing. Ooh, but we have curry. Oh, I got a lot of money. We're gonna make cologne. We're gonna make curry. Our base is gonna smell so good. It's gonna smell like handsome men and delicious food. Alright. Oh, I can't afford any of this. Never mind, I don't have that much money. I want the solid magazine. Duck before he was dirty. <laughs> I know you can read my thoughts, boss. Yum, 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 yum. Your Wi Fi sources generate free recruits. Oh, it's almost like Stream Pass. Target practice, no limit. Target practice, time attack. Cool, yeah, let's do some target practice. Commence target practice. As a special treat, you can practice freely on any of the targets in the kill house today. Shoot your heart out. When you're done, head over to the exit. They can have a little target practice as a treat. And then let's see what let's listen to some files. History. Peace. Snake sink. Stand still when you're snake in, and you and your teammates will start to get in sync. In sync? That's right. Stay still together and you'll enter snake sync mode. The synergy will give you a boost in performance. You'll move faster, recover snake faster, sink. and have better camouflage. In other words, we're at our best when we're in the same groove. Literally a conga it. line. If you've got a big task ahead, can't hurt to take some time to get in sync. Like I said before, the benefits you get from snake sync depend on your camaraderie. I hear ya. It's a lot easier knowing you've got someone you know and trust covering your back. Let's you focus that much more on what you have to do. Snake sync. If camaraderie represents how much your teammates trust you, then heroism shows how high your reputation is. Heroism? That's right, heroism. Your reputation affects your ability to recruit new members to MSF. With higher heroism, it won't take as long to convince guys to join our cause and send them back by Fulton Recovery. Ugh, so, how do I get this heroism thing to go up? Lots of ways. Complete tough missions, avoid unnecessary bloodshed, and don't get caught by the enemy like a deer in headlights, or you'll never be heroic. Also, getting out there and attacking the enemy in co-ops will boost your reputation among your teammates. Of course, it'll get the enemy gunning right for you, too. But don't sweat it. Be yourself. Be the boss. Be From the where boss. I'm standing, you're plenty heroic Aww. already. Knock it off. Aww. So cute.
Seems the R&D team's been busy yeah, working on co-ops only weapons. Co-ops only? Like a gun with extreme firepower, but only when two people fire it at once. I hear it's still in the concept stage. Uh, I know some rocket launchers need two people to operate, but a co-ops only weapon... Hey, if they come up with something good, you'll have that much more reason to go co-ops. Why don't you check in and see how they're doing every once in a while? In co-ops, maintaining close communications with your teammates is crucial. Absolutely. Losing track of each other on the battlefield is a good way for yeah, a unit to get itself wiped out. Enemy positions, comrades. orders, distress right calls. When communications break down, you get picked off one by one. Now about co-ops comms. Co-ops comms? It's a radio system for communicating with co-ops teammates. First, press the start button to open the menu. Then select oh co-ops comms. After that, press one button to choose a category, then another button to select the actual message. So basically, you use different combinations of two buttons to send different messages. <sighs> Easy enough. You can set which messages go with which Just buttons set all during my mission buttons prep. To meow. Uh, sounds like it's going to be a pain to send messages until I get used to it. Then why don't you assign co-op's comms to the select button? That should make things a little quicker and easier. Just go to select button under ben options. Friendo. I'll give it a try. Kotodama effect. Snake, you familiar with the Japanese word kotodama? Mm -hmm. Kotodama. Unfortunately, kotodama. there's no direct equivalent in English. But to keep it simple, let's call it a sort of battle cry. Battle cry, huh? Right. But kotodama is actually a deep Snake. Japanese concept. Have you ever heard of the word? Koto Nakama. means word, and dama means spirit. It signifies that words spirit have power on. that affect our reality. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? I guess I made it sound kind of like mumbo jumbo, huh? <laughs> Seriously though, haven't you ever felt energized when a teammate cheered you, you nice on, little or smack the other on way the around? Bum. Ever had your legs cut out from under you by a thoughtless remark? Yeah, I know the feeling. Words can have a powerful mental effect on people. Same goes for co-op's comms. Offering praise to somebody could make them run faster than usual. Or make somebody who thinks they're done for get up and fight again. See what I'm saying? I get the picture. So it works in reverse, too. Dumb the powers thick. of words are many Dumb and varied. Thick. Try using them for yourself. Just tell your troops they're sexy hot. And they'll keep fighting for you. Uh, target practice. Guess I'll just use a assault rifle. And on my pink pants. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Freaking loves his pink pants so much. Let's rock. This is a kill house. It's a good place to test fire new weapons. You can also try your hand at time attack. How about it? Hey, what am I... What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, do I have to go somewhere to activate the targets? Hey, what? Oh, so why aren't my targets going? Oh, there's one. Oh, you have to like do them in order. Going up. 
Oh. Oh, you have to like do them in the right order. Oh god, he's moving. Whoa! Nice! You hit all the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. This is like a maze. Down here? find my next target. Huh. Here? Ah, so where's my next target? me to find my next target. <laughs> Sit next. Going up the ladder. Don't see any guys. I went down the ladder. I don't see any guys. the arrow. Guys aren't popping up. Look, I did this area. Oh, who's this guy? I seem like they're in a really weird order and I don't understand. Like, why was that guy up? Nice! You hit all the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. Okay, now we're up here. I think I like moved too fast or something. Targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. Boop. Jumped out at me. Nice. You hit all the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. Get out of the way. All the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. How does it start over again? Ah. Okay. I think we're at the beginning again. Nice. Okay. You hit all the targets in your booth. I think I can do Move the time the attack now. Complete. Yeah, that's how I recruit all my followers. Just, just put them in a truck or attach a balloon to them. I don't know how you guys make friends. Give them some Doritos, give them some cologne, and they never leave. All right, let's start the time attack, but this time I kind of know what I'm doing. Feed him some calorie mates and some regain. Target practice commences now. Shoot all the targets in the kill house. 
When the timer reaches zero, the exercise is over. Yeah, this game is really fun. It's hard to put down. Also, it's a holiday and it's raining, so I don't want to do anything except stay inside and play video this games. This is a time attack. Hit the target God, he looks so good moving. in pink. Hit the last target before time runs out to complete the With mission. Snakes and snacks. There's that. Oh, that's right. There's these ones. Now I can go up the ladder. You hit all the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. I think maybe I'm like moving more than I'm supposed to, and that's why I keep getting lost. You're just supposed to like stand still and shoot them all. You hit all the targets in your booth. But I'm like the next one. doing a Rambo style thing. do that one again to do better. I can do better than a C. I just got lost at that one point. Adam Ska. C for knack. C knack. C for chips. D for Dorito. B for burrito. A for Adam Scott. This is a time attack. Hit the targets and keep moving. Hit the last target before time runs out to complete the mission. Okay, yeah, that's why I keep screwing up, because I keep moving. Nice. You hit all the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. Nice. You hit all the targets in your booth. Move on to the next one. Way more than chest. Okay. The target's on the chest, though, so that's confused me. Because I'm like, oh, I should aim for the chest. That's where the target is. 
Alright, we got a B. Good enough for me. again in the next life as comrades well what are we in this life grouper we're still we're comrades now too goose so what if you get knocked out a few good snacks and you'll wait right up at first i thought this said snacks and i was like yeah a few good snacks and you'll wake right up and some crates are too big to climb alone but they're no problem if you got a buddy maybe that's what friendship is all about climbing up big boxes is what good friends do Rig. Cottontail, come on. Development? No, not versus ops. There's so many things I can develop. Snakes. Très bien, for men. When the battlefield showers are few and far between, and on that important mission, body odor can be a distraction not only to yourself, but to your brothers in arms. That's where this body fragrance comes in, providing a mild aroma that relaxes both body and something. You and your comrades focus on the mission at hand. I don't know, man. When your comrades start smelling good, it might be a distraction. Spicy curry. Legendary taste. Legendary taste series. Ready to eat instant curry developed by the lab boys. Prepared with meat, vegetables, and other ingredients. Cooked in spices. Curry dishes originally Indian. Made its way to the UK. Found nutrition, curry was adopted by the British Navy as military food. In the 20th century, Japan developed curry as rations for their navy. Curry found its way into Japanese households. Currently, curry is adopted by Japan's self-defense force and is Kaz Miller's favorite dish. MSF has developed curry as a ration that can be easily carried, preserved, and specially manufactured resort pouches. Kaz loves the curry. I really like this box. I would definitely buy this curry if I saw it. Actually, I have some One Piece curry in my cabinet. It has shanks on it, so I was just like, sure. Let's go for it. Ooh, I can afford the liquid magazine too. Let's do it. in the lab. Yeah, Axe Body Spray does not have a mild aroma. Anyone who's ever been in middle school knows that. Alright, let's do one more mission. Then I should probably eat lunch. Maybe I'll eat that curry I was talking about. Snake, I've got just the explosive to bust through that barricade. C4. We finished developing C4 charges. Take some with you. To destroy the barricade north of the village, you'll need Composition 4 explosives. That's what this You've handled C4 for. before, right, Snake? Yeah. I've been a regular user since the days of C3. C3. Oh, yeah, I remember. I that stuff C4 got brittle and useless in cold temperatures, so they upgraded. C4 is a moldable plastic explosive. It's very stable and won't explode without a special detonator. Light it on fire and all it does is burn. A lot of American soldiers in Vietnam used to use it as fuel. 
Place it near the barricade and move to a safe location. Then hit the detonator button to blow it up. I'm on it. Uh, you're still on C4. Try C5. Those giant footprints near the terminal. What do you think they were, Kaz? It beats me. They're way too big, even for an elephant. Made me think of that basilisco Chico was talking about. <laughs> Hope it's not for real. Same here. If they really do have that kind of weapon, we could be dealing with a basilisk in more than just looks. What do you mean? There's a medieval encyclopedia that describes the basilisk like this. The basilisk Kaz, is the king of snakes. All snakes fear the basilisk nerd. and flee at its sight, lest they be slain by its foul breath. A snake to take out a snake, huh? I don't mean to scare you or anything, but it never hurts to be careful. Will do. When the enemy spots you and goes on alert, they may call in a backup strike team. These assault teams are heavily armed, well-trained, and highly dangerous. Amanda's crew calls them commandos. Unlike the patrolmen, these guys will actively, relentlessly track and hunt you down like hounds. Hmm. <laughs> hounds to hunt a former foxhound. Bring it on. They won't give up easily, even if they lose sight of you. They'll clear out any likely hiding places they come good. across. So don't get too comfy in one spot, or you might get caught again. Keep your eyes fixed on them and what they're doing. I love also, going commando. be aware the commando gear includes body armor, so don't think you can deal with them by going in guns blazing. All I've got to do is find an exposed weak point, and... Exactly. There's one type of commando you really need to watch out for, and that's the kind toting shotguns. They can take a few hits and still keep charging you. And believe me, you don't want them closing in between those shotgun blasts. When they start charging, you need to stop them immediately. Use something with serious stopping power. Okay. Amanda. Do I have to take the fork in the road back to the village? People say there is a shortcut. Go back to the coffee factory entrance, then follow the path on the right. That will take you straight to the village. They may have increased security in that area, though. Mm -hmm. Not surprising, after what happened with the tank. What do I do once I'm back at the village? Destroy the barricade at the north side. From there, you can reconnect with the transport route. Mm -hmm. I'll need C4 for that. The explosion will bring everyone running, too. There's probably going to be a fight, one way or the other. They might not see you if you stick to the narrower pathways. Then just climb over any obstacles. Don't let your guard down after taking out the barricade either. Oh, welcome, Peck. Welcome to the Tatsune universe. There's a river in the mountains north of the village. You'll see a water pipe running across that's got a walkway you can use as a bridge. I guess they built it to carry water from the hydroelectric plant. To get there, though, you gotta get past the barricade north of the prison. Got it. El Basilisco supposedly lives in the gorge up there, so be careful you don't get distracted and fall in the river. The Basilisco? Not the big monster I saw. I mean, the real Basilisco. <laughs> a real one? The legendary king of snakes? More like a lizard, I guess. It walks on top of the river. A uh, lizard that walks on water? Man, you should see it. It's not that big, though. Only about one bat long. Pretty good size for a lizard. Yeah, but not nearly as big as a dinosaur. The real basilisco. So there's a real basilisco that lives in the river? I'm only saying I heard stories from people who said they saw it. But I know lots of places to find it in Nicaragua. Do you want to go have a look? I don't have time for sightseeing. Snakes. Uh, you don't like lizards? It's not that. I just think snakes taste better. Who said anything about I taste? taste pretty good. How about you? You like them? Not that way. They do look kind of like dinosaurs, though. You don't think that's cool? Nah, they're both reptiles, yeah. But there's a big difference size-wise. I'll bet there are still big ones around somewhere. I don't think they dinosaurs say mammals are multiplied reptiles. and ate up their eggs. But they can't all be gone. They've gotta exist somewhere out there. Hmm. 
Dinosaur eggs, huh? And animals are always evolving, right? Maybe they evolved so much, they don't even look like dinosaurs anymore. Then you can't really call them dinosaurs, can you? I guess not. Yeah, you're right. Dinosaurs have got to be big! Right, because, like, so many of the dinosaurs turned avian. Like, reptiles are separate, I think. Whatever. I want to learn more about dinosaurs. Alright, put on our normal clothes. No fun. Ooh, squares. That's a lot of bees. Good for trees. Survival. Get my hat and then know what else I want on this. I guess I'll just I don't know. I guess getting my sniper rifle just tends to make sense for me. Got my C4. I want to move my chips next to my ration. Ooh, and I have curry now. Oh my god, I'm bringing so much food with me. I'll never go hungry again. Cover psych. Make myself smell good. Do I need to pay attention to psych? Because I don't really pay attention to psych. Got my sonic eye. Okay, that seems good. Go back to the prison camp. It's in the village where they were holding Chico. Oh, lying down. Hey, lie down, Betty. Huh. Oh, so you can, like, see him walking along? Is that what that is? I don't know if I'll find that very useful. Okay. 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 Like that they left a nice little snack here for me. Someone attack him. Dang it. Go down. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. They're those big boys. Ah, crud. Something there? I think these
these are probably HQ come in. This is HQ. This is patrol. Contact lost. Oh great. To alert status. Oh that guy's an E2. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. Dude, why are these guys all ranky? I guess the reinforcements are usually E's. All clear. Understood. Return Just have a nap time. It's fine. Don't worry. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. So you can't farm guys. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. If you had something to stand on, you could probably I reach can that. say that every stupid time. Wait, why is my select back to auto aim? Did I, did I change that accidentally? Hey, I got a trophy that says you're pretty good. What did I get that for? I mean, I am pretty good, but I don't know what triggered it. Shooting someone in the behind? Really? Can I not get up to that guy? I want to make him my friendo, but I don't think I can get up there. Oh, is that what I need a freaking stupid box for? Oh well. Just toss a Fulton up there. So glad the tranks are good again. That was the hardest thing in portable ops was the tranks just like sucked. Ooh, yeah, I got chips on him. Steal his chip. How do you get MSF brand Doritos? Well, that's how MSF makes its money. Just selling. The gates on the northwest side of the stores. prison camp. 
Cut across the camp to get there. I know I saw something. Did ya? Go to sleep. Huh. Is somebody there? Did I not get that guy with the drink? Uh. Oh, there he goes. Gosh, We're under attack! Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. No, don't send reinforcements. Negative. Oh. We can't spare reinforcements. You'll have to make do with ah, what you sucks have. to be you. Fulton recovery your helicopter is complete. Good work, Snake. Ooh, new camo. Excellent. Look at them. Just taking the village as if it were theirs. Unforgivable. Nine new friendos. Naked. Snake, you there? Yeah, what's up? You've got to talk to Amanda. What happened? She wants to leave Sick Bay and get back on the battlefield, but she's not fully healed. She's still in crutches. Who'd be crazy enough to try and fight like that? You have to talk some sense into her. Is she with you right now? No, she's in sick bay. She keeps shouting about how she doesn't want to be there. She won't shut up about it. She's driving me. Let her go. What? If that's what she wants, let her go. I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Snake. I'm serious. Let her go. Why? So she can come back in a body bag? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Kaz. What are you talking about? Amanda isn't the type to just sit around in sick bay. She has a sense of duty. Her purpose in life is to fight. The battlefield isn't just the best thing for her, it's the best thing for her compass, too. She'll be a huge morale boost that can only benefit MSF. You think so? You're good at fighting, Kaz. One of the best. But you've got a lot to learn when it comes to people. So, where should I put her? I'll think it over and find a team for her. Don't worry, she won't let us down. Somebody's Whatever you say, boss.
I like when they get sent to the brig, they get like the locked door noise. Alright. New friendos. The analyzer tells you how good a soldier is, so you can pick the best ones. Someone else might have said that cocktail. And, uh... It's hurting. You gotta turn away as soon as you throw a stun grenade or you get stunned too. Thanks for the tip, boss! <laughs> this guy just not knowing how a stun grenade works. Llama, you look like you'll come in handy. I guess I'll stick around and help you out. Excuse me? Rat. You wanna know how to raise morale around here? Simple. Give us letters from our old folks and hot meals. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Letters from our folks. What about letters from Snake? What about little kisses and hugs? I think that'll work. Cormorant. Hey boss, can you teach me how to reload? <laughs> this guy doesn't know how to reload a gun. Ah, so that's it. Just push the action button with the weapon equipped. Thanks a bunch, boss. Whoa, Suni. Chill out, man. Check out this tattoo. Each one of these stars stands for a battlefield I've slogged through. They're actually just stickers, but still. <laughs> Suni's a big poser. Why are they stupid AF? Because that's what we want. We want a whole... We just want himbos. They gotta be hot and buff and stupid. <laughs> stickers are they handing out like like temporary tattoos to their troops yeah comrades let's keep communication tight what you can't find the right words I always know the right words snake it yellowtail I was just thinking same you as boss yeah meow 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 buzzard I owe you one guess I better come with you mm -hmm. all right off you go. Ooh. Ration rank two. Ooh, lime soda. Tasty. That's tasty. Banana stickers. Oh my gosh. That's like one of my favorite episodes of Metalocalypse. Alright. Our magazines are still in development. Let's make some lime soda and ration two. Ration two. Oh, I still have enough for a snoop smoke grenade, even though I don't use them. for co-op. Do I just need to get like people to friend me on PlayStation? Is that how this works? Basically. Okay. Well. by your name friends all right well by name on PlayStation try with randos I guess I could try that if anybody wants to friend me on here I might recruit people during a stream at one point so, my name on here is Esquilax with two X's. The body of a rabbit and the head of a rabbit. And yeah, I don't know, I still am not quite sure how I plan to do co-op. Um, 
But I guess I'll just, like, at some point I might be like, hey, whoever's there, come co-op with me. And we can all get in the love box and we can all sneak in and it'll be a good time. But that'll be for another time. Anyway, thanks so much for coming, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Metal Gear Friend Finder Part 2 Metal Gear Dorito Metal Gear Cologne and I will be streaming Shadows of the Damned for Grasshopper on Friday slash Saturday depending on your time zone and then I'll be streaming some more of this on Saturday slash Sunday and enjoy your new cause emote and yeah, I'm sure there will be more Cos comics. I'm pretty sure every single comic idea I have involves him because it's Cos, isn't it? Alright, thanks so much for coming. I hope you all have a great day. I'm gonna drink a regain to save my old man back. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody!